I didn't know if there was any other item we yeah. should discuss tonight. Well, I'll see you on discussing uh, old business. Um, maybe I'll go first because then I'll, you might have something to say about this. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to try to um, just give a little brief uh, of what happened at the Hampton Area Commission meeting. And I, you know, we've been working on the um, uh, the master plan and making some changes to it and there it was pretty exciting when the um, the gentleman that is in charge of it brought back his findings and that and I think really it surprised a lot of people um, some of the suggestions that he had and it's not that the suggestions are just going to happen the way that he suggested it them. They're all going to be many different possibilities, and it's going to take some time to figure out what the priority is going to be. But <clears throat> I can give a little bit of a um, one of the th things that was interesting um, that was suggested was possibly making Ashworth Avenue two ways, and which was at one time discussed here many you know, at the mm -hmm. Board of Selectmen as being yeah. a possibility and they had some the gentleman had some unique things to bring up so it was very very informative uh, the reason why I'm mentioning this too is I think a lot of people out there that m you know may want to follow this project because it has it could be very different and people may want to comment on it so that's one of the possibilities that they would make uh, Ashworth Avenue two ways and when it goes down towards the end to the southern part where it turns around they're talking about signaling um, that particular corner and you know many there's many possibilities for that corner um, as there are many possibilities in this plan that's being discussed but it also could be some may possibly a roundabout or uh, you know, it's going to be discussed over and over again. So if anyone has some uh, something to say, they should be paying attention. Another thing is, as it goes up um, Ocean Boulevard, uh, it's been suggested that Ocean Boulevard be have like two-way traffic going north. And when it gets to a certain place, uh, possibly some of the parking spaces that the state currently has would be they could lose as many as 60 spaces but they they have other places in the realm of possibilities where they could be reclaimed and uh so it's it's you know the and even with this particular uh suggestion there's different ways of having sidewalks and pretty much all along ocean boulevard it would be like a 12 uh foot wide sidewalk uh, on the uh, western side of Ocean Boulevard. And one, it gets very interesting when you get past the stage and it goes into the area where the Ashworth is. Again, there are many different possibilities, but there could be possibly another turnaround there or at Highland Ave. And <clears throat> or those could be further up down the street. Uh, but at the where, when you get to the Ashworth, it would actually narrow in and be again one lane traffic going north and south. I presume with a, a center lane, um, and there would be some changes to where the parking area is at the Ashworth. I guess the state probably leases those spaces to the Ashworth. And in that area, it possibly could have some added parking that would come in. It would probably look better the way he suggested it than it looks today, and it might be better for everybody. But I think this was the most interesting part of it, was there's a discussion about the possibility of, in the middle, where the lanes are, the area where the parking lot is, to move that over onto the ocean front so that you would have the spaces there on the ocean and people wouldn't have to cross over the street and possibly there could be more um, 
landscaping or whatever. But these are some radical suggestions, and I thought the I thought he did a great job. The gentleman that was discussing this project. Uh, one of the possibilities was that this is the one that seemed to draw a lot of no one could really see how it could happen but he seemed sure that it could was two-way traffic on Highland Avenue so again you could go out that way um, the whole idea of this is is that there would be many spaces where people could go out they could be exiting uh, a lot easier and by the time you got further north there wouldn't be as much traffic so by the time you got to Church Street there wouldn't be very much traffic now I don't have these exact figures but it was something like from the way I understood it that during peak hours there's something like 1100 vehicles an hour leaving by way of the bridge that goes to Seabrook and you know exiting out there whether they go through to Salisbury or go out 286 and basically, from what I understood, there's something like just a little bit less than that that end up going down <coughs> Church Street or going straight ahead to, you know, Ocean Boulevard North, possibly exiting at um, Winniconnet Road or wherever. Um, so there were the one road that they really found some doesn't seem to be too, too, very much could possibly happen to would be Church Street because there would have to be property taken. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's the way that this gentleman presented it, there would be a lot less traffic going out that way. It was uh, also interesting when I talked to Senator Preston today, he told me the history of all of that project and how originally back in, I believe, the 60s, when they were doing all of that, how originally they were planning on bringing, you know, into, there were a lot of people that wanted the main road to come in actually at High Street. Um, so there's, through the years, many things change and it's interesting to see how you look at things through the years. One of the things that concerned me is that the this project, even though it's been mentioned many times and it was mentioned several times as we went along, um, that they want to sort of end it right at Ocean Boulevard, at uh, Ocean Boulevard, and where Boar's Head begins, and that's something that I personally don't understand that well, because it is a basically a parking and traffic study. And a lot of the traffic does exit out at Winnicunit Road. So why would we end the study at the beginning of Boar's Head, where we all know that there are issues with Ocean Boulevard and all of the drains that go all the way to um, Winnicunit Road and further up. Um, and so this is something that I'm concerned about. And I know that Chairman Nyan is um, is proposing that they do continue to Winnicott Road or possibly even to High Street. An you know, another thing is again, it is a parking study, and a lot of the parking that's been done so far, they've put in those new meters that have really been made things a lot easier because the people can use their credit cards; they don't need the change or whatever. And this area to the north there, they still have the old meters and. I'm not, you know, I don't really know what they're planning on doing with that, hmm. but um, I would like to know if this board could give a letter of support supporting Mr. Nyan in his motion or his conversations to extend this uh, to at least Winnicott Road. Another p thing that I find is that you know, there's a lot of people involved here, a lot of business people, the Hampton Area Commission, the Village Precinct. The Village Precinct also ends at Winnicott Road. And there's a lot of tax revenue that comes into the precinct and helps make the beach what it is, and that goes to Winnicott Road. So I personally would like to see that at least it goes to Winnicott Road. Uh, I don't think there is many complaints as far as High Street, plus that they've been doing so much down there, but 
We don't get any complaints on High Street. On High Street. So to me, I just really don't understand why, why end it right. I've never seen anything ended there at the beginning of Boris Head to begin with. It's always been, I think, Winnicott Road in my eyes. So that's what I would like mm. to have someone make a motion that we would support the chairman, John Nyan's efforts to expand this. Who's going to pay and, for all this? Well, this is, this is the, they're working on grants and everything. The, you know, tomorrow there's a meeting with Chris and Nunu at the beach, and that's why I'd kind of like to have it before that, so that I hope to be there to discuss it with him. I have actually discussed it with him before, and um, I just really don't understand why it has been ended right there. I'll make a motion to support them. The John Nyan's efforts, yeah. and is there a second? I'll second that. Would any other discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. And is there some way that we can let Mr. Nyan know this? Because he's working on a lot of this stuff tomorrow. We'll do that first thing in the morning. Yes, yeah, so we could yep. get it to him. And I think he'll enjoy that, the fact that we support his efforts. The other thing is, is Mr. Nyan's um, term is expiring on October 22nd. So uh, do we have to ask uh, to open this up to other people, or how does that work? He's been very successful doing board, what he board does. Board discretion. I mean, you, you, you make the appointment. Uh, I don't recall anything in the statute that says you have to go to public review. How does the board feel about it? I think John's done a good job there. I think he's he's actually brought a lot of people together, and I'll make <coughs> a motion that we reappoint Mr. Nyan to the Hampton Area Commission. I'll second it. And whatever date his term. Whatever, right. However long the term is. It's a October. I believe it's a three-year term. Okay. Yeah, it is a three-year term. It is term. a three-year term. It's for the three-year term. And I'll, as part of the discussion, I would just like to say he has done a very good job. And to be truthful, I don't know how anyone could catch up to what he has done there. Yeah. With, and there does appear to be a lot of good things happening. Yep. So all those in favor, unanimous. So you can maybe inform. I will take care of that as well. Too. Thank you. Other old.